Savik Shuster. Savik Shuster, Russian Savik Shuster, Ukrainian Savik Shuster, born Savelis Susteris, November 22, 1952, in Vilnius, is a journalist and Ukrainian political TV show's anchor. He presented the freedom by Savik Shuster and starting in 2005 as Svoboda Slava on Act. From December 2015, he produces and lead political talk shows on his independent 3S TV after he has been cancelled from several tycoon-owned TV. In December 2016, 3S TV announced cease of activity and on 1 March 2017 the channel stopped broadcasting. According to official statement, the reason thereof is business being no longer viable due to several litigations and corresponding financial constraints. All court cases were subsequently closed due to lack of substance. In 2019, Shuster came back. From 2001 till 2004, Shuster presented talk shows on the Russian in TV channel. Shuster holds Canadian and Italian citizenships. Biography Born in Vilnius, then former part of the Soviet Union, now the capital of Lithuania, Shuster left the Soviet Union in 1971. His parents, his father, was a football coach, emigrated from their native Vilnius via Israel to Canada. A distant uncle, who was vice president of the oil company Shell Canada, intervened with Soviet Prime Minister Alexei Kozygin on their behalf. In 1973, Shuster began a bachelor's at McGill University in Montreal, graduating in 1976 with a medical degree. He then moved to Florence in Italy to continue his studies. There, he began writing for a local newspaper. In 1980, Shuster worked for three months with a French humanitarian organization that was working on the side of the anti-Soviet Mujahedin in Afghanistan, there he met Newsweek magazine's Asia editor and was offered a chance to write a few articles for them. Shortly after Shuster started to write for French newspaper Liberation and the Italian magazine Frigidaire. Career in Russia From 1988, when he didn't speak Russian often to 2001, Shuster worked for Radio Free Europe slash Radio Liberty. From 1996 to 2001, he was the head of their Moscow office. In 1998, he began presenting a football show on NTV. Radio Liberty fired him over a perceived conflict of interest during Gazprom's takeover of NTV from Vladimir Gusinsky's media most in April 2001. Radio Liberty said that by continuing with his football program, at NTV, Shuster had violated its professional code and policy over conflicts of interests. Weeks after Gazprom's takeover, Shuster began anchoring in TV Hero of the Day interview show and then Svoboda Slava Freedom of Speech. Until 2004, he was the host of several talk shows on the NTV channel. Allegedly, Shuster's and his employer in TV coverage of the Moscow hostage crisis infuriated then President Vladimir Putin in 2002. In 2004, his show Freedom of Speech was awarded a TEFI by the Russian Academy of Television. Shuster's last Russian show was cancelled by NTV because the audience was too old. According to Shuster, this was not the real reason the station closed his talk show. The truth was the Kremlin could no longer afford an open live show. According to Shuster, in the Soviet era in Kiev, it was a dream to get to Moscow, but now Putin's politics is killing a lot of creativity, and Moscow is becoming less attractive for Ukrainians. Career in Ukraine Since 2005, Shuster has been working in Ukraine. According to Shuster, at first he had no plans to work in Ukraine but changed his mind shortly after a 2005 visit to a friend, Russian politician Boris Nemtsov, in Kiev a few months after Ukrainian's Orange Revolution Nemtsov was an advisor to Ukrainian President Viktor Yushchenko at the time. I decided to go and make some fun of him. I planned to say to him, Boris, you finally found a place in politics, but it is in the wrong country. But when I came into his office, I saw he was in a very good mood, and I said, Boris, maybe I, too, should go to Ukraine. A few months later, he lived in the Ukrainian capital, studied Ukrainian, and worked in Ukraine as a broadcaster.
From May 2005, Savick hosted Freedom of Speech talk show on Ike. Later that year, he presented Freedom by Savick Shuster on Inter TV. In August 2008, the production studio Savick Shuster Studios was created. And in 2008, TV channel Ukraine made a three year contract with this studio for broadcasting the social political talk show Shuster Live. In July 2009, Shuster broke ties with the production company, which was renamed to Estill Studios. According to Shuster, in 2008, when our program is on the air, it is watched on every third TV set in the country. Ukraine saw a sudden boost in popularity ratings after the start of Shuster's political talk show in September 2008. In September 2009, Shuster claimed unknown, People tried to sabotage the airing of his program, Shuster Live. May 21, 2010, Deputy Head of the Administration of Ukraine, Hannah Herman, stated the wish that Ukraine's most popular political talk shows would be anchored only by Ukrainian journalists. We are still victims to that imperial complex. That everything coming from Moscow is good, everything Ukrainian is bad. In January 2011, all Shuster programs moved to Pershing nationality. Meanwhile, the number of viewers of his show had dropped from 1 million in 2006 to 600,000 people in 2011. Since February 2013, Shuster Live was again aired on Inter TV. But it moved back to Pershing Nationality in March 2014 and was aired on that channel till 2015. It moved to One Plus One. But that channel canceled the show, and starting in December 2015, the show was aired on Shuster's own independent 3S TV. In December 2016, 3S TV went bankrupt, and on 1 March 2017, the channel stopped broadcasting. Shuster was for two and a half years absent from TV until in September 2020 returned with the comeback episode of his talk show, Freedom of Speech, on Ukraine TV. Language of Presenting Shuster presents his Ukrainian programs in Russian. According to him, he was allowed to do it because he was not ethnic Russian, and everyone understood the language. But at first, on Ukrainian TV, Russian-speaking TV host was a phenomenon. Now the issue of the language is not a burning issue. There were other problems. Political Views Shuster considered himself to be a liberal. In a 2008 interview with Nave Gazeta, Shuster said he would be interested in hosting debates between presidential contenders in Russia. However, I'm afraid I wouldn't be invited, as they need exactly those who play up, and that's a kind of censorship. This allowed Putin to refuse participation in the debates at all. Here in Ukraine, such a thing is just impossible. Those who refuse taking part in debates, they lose at once. When I had the live air on in TV, United Russia tried. The Jamestown Foundation considers Shuster a Yulia Tymoshenko sympathizer. In a 2009 interview with the Financial Times, Shuster does not believe a revival of Russian democracy will happen. If there is a political transformation in Russia, it will not be towards democracy. They have lost the foundation for a democratic transformation. They have decided to build power by looking for supporters among the intolerant. I think a fascist dict family. Shuster is currently married to Olga Nevsky, a second wife. His first wife was Italian. She and his family continued to live in Florence, Italy during his career in Russia and Ukraine.